the Jews were mostly professionals, merchants, working in a textile industry, which was the main industry in our town, clerks, tradesmen, tailors, barbers, and so on and so forth. The Jewish life, as I remember, from before the war, was quite active. Most of the youngsters, the young people, my age, we were all belonging to one kind or another of a Jewish political, uh, mostly Zionist organization. Organizations from right to left, from the Shomer Atzair through the Agudat Israel, Mizrahi, a religious one, uh, Beitar. Uh, I belong to the Beitar, the young revisionist movement. Uh, Beitar, I like to think so, had about uh, the best, the elite of the cream of the Jewish youth, were about 200 members. The Jewish community was an autonomous community. We had, they paid the rabbis, the, uh, the shochet, the slaughterer, the religious slaughterer, the mikvah, the ritual baths, uh, part for the Jewish schools, and so on and so forth. The Jewish library was the biggest library in town. Uh, we had the Bialik house, where we had a swimming pool, inside pool, uh, ping pong uh, courts, uh, gymnasium, all kind of uh, communal offices. We had uh, Jewish port clubs. There was a Hakoa football club, as you call it, soccer. Uh, there was a Maccabi another Jewish sports club, which had a water polo group, which was quite well known. Some of the swimmers were of international caliber. They were contesting even in the Olympics. A boxing group, a tennis group, and so forth. There were Jewish old age people's home, Jewish schools, Talmud Torahs. There, as far as I remember, I cannot remember any Jewish youngster that wouldn't get one kind of another of it, would not be exposed to a Jewish education. Of course, we read the Jewish press, we were getting newspapers that came from out of town. Our town was a small one, so we didn't have our own. We had a little sheet that appeared only for the holidays, which informed about activities in our town. But we were getting the papers that were coming from Warsaw, from Krakow, uh, the Heint, the, the Yiddish papers, and the papers in the Polish language. And since our town was a bilingual town, Polish and German, we were not far from the German border, we were getting papers uh, from, that were still printed in Germany.